Hello everyone, in this video, let us take a look at uh, the new app that was uh, released recently called Kanban Gant for Jira. So usually I spend uh, some time every other week and I look at uh, the uh, new apps that are released on the marketplace. And today I was uh, just browsing the marketplace and I uh, came across this app called uh, Kanban Gantt for Jira and this app is from MrAddon.com and if I look at this app it basically says that you can create a Gantt chart for your Kanban board. Now I really believe that when you are publishing an app on the marketplace for of course customers you need to spend some time on the marketplace listing. So when you look at the marketplace listing, to be honest, uh, it is quite clear that uh, this app will uh, give me some capability to create a Gantt chart. And uh, there are some images to basically help me in understanding the purpose, the uh, objective of uh, this uh, app. So I can uh, take a look at uh, the screenshots. It looks good to me. And uh, I believe for this app to work, you need three fields assignee, start date and end date. So I think uh, these are the three fields that you need to add in your project. Also in your specific issue types for the screens. And uh, when you also make sure that those fields are added to the board as well in the card layout, you should be able to take a look at the Gantt chart that will be generated for you. And uh, basically this is a, a very simple app. If you look at the version, I really want to understand uh, how many versions are there for this app. So this app is actually compatible all the way from Jira 6.2 to 8.6. So it's a wide range of uh, compatibility. Right now it is a version 2.22. But if you look at the summary, it says first public release. So maybe this app was not public or maybe Mr. Adam.com was using this app for uh, their clients. I'm not sure. And the thing that I wanted to know is uh, the price. So this app is free. So there is no harm really in uh, trying out this app. This app is also, uh, I mean, when you are uh, looking for new apps, you can of course evaluate it on a test environment. And if it works well, then uh, you can potentially use it on the production environment if you think, if you know it has some history, if you know about the vendor. But if you are not sure about uh, the vendor, you can always look for this uh, this small icon and it, it says top vendor. So it says uh, Mr. Mr. Adam.com is a top vendor. Top vendors have high standards for app quality, reliability and support. So whenever you see this uh, icon, you can potentially use it on your uh, Jira instances that you use on production. So this is, you know, just a small tip. So if uh, uh, you want to spend more time on the documentation, I really believe that there should be a documentation. There's a link to documentation. And if you click on the link, you'll be taken to the GitHub uh, page where uh, there are some uh, instructions, I believe. But I just want to evaluate it very quickly. So I actually have installed this app and I want to show the configuration. So as you noticed on the marketplace listing, you need to have three fields called assignee, end date and start date. And at the same time, you should have some values in these fields. Otherwise your Gantt chart won't really display anything. So assignee field or basically the first field that you have is uh, basically to create a grouping of uh, various activities in your Gantt chart. So in this case, uh, all the activities that are assigned to maybe user one will be displayed first, then user two and user three, based on the assignee of course, and then you have the start date and end date. So this uh, is it, I believe. And if you go to uh, go back to the board, uh, you can of course take a look at your Kanban board where you have your different columns. And what I have already done is for most of my issues in my board, I have already populated my start date, end date and uh, 
I have also uh, used at least the assignee. So if you look if you look at uh, the issue details or if you are not able to see the fields, you can go to the edit screen because I have this field in my edit screen. So I can see here that there's a start date, there is uh, an end date, and there is also an assignee. So let us now click on this uh, icon that you see on the left hand side. Uh, it, it says a JGANT plugin. And if, if you click on it, you can see your Gantt chart immediately. So you, you can see here on top that uh, you have this grouping based on the assignee. Then you have the list of activities or tasks or whatever issues that you have. And then you have, uh, I believe, uh, the start date and also the duration. And I think the duration is calculated based on uh, start date and end date because we have some values. And you can see this uh, on uh, your uh, on your uh, screen that uh, you have this scan chart displaying the issues on this calendar with some schedule. And I think it is quite interesting because uh, uh, with the help of this scan chart, you can do some kind of uh, visualization. Mm -hmm. And I personally think that uh, this uh, add-on, if it is stable, it is a new add-on and I believe uh, since it is from uh, a top vendor, I can uh, probably trust uh, the, uh, the vendor. And uh, I think this is a nice add-on. It is free. There is no harm in installing it. And it will give you some... Uh, Gantt chart capabilities in your uh, Kanban board. So this is all I wanted to share in this uh, video. I hope you enjoyed and you learned something new today. Thank you very much.